Hey everyone, um, as you can see, I got a new pair of glasses. I'm really, really excited about them actually. I got them today. Um, really excited for several reasons, but they're actually working glasses as opposed to most of the time where I just wear fake frames on top of my contacts. Um, I got an actual new pair of real glasses to replace these old ones. Um, I've had these old frames, which I can still see out of them, they're just not quite strong enough, but I've had these frames, they're really ugly, in fact I made it a point to never let anybody see me in them because I hate them now, um, because these have been wreaking havoc on my face for the past 10 years, I've had these since 1998, um, I don't really like them, it's amazing, I can still see out of them, um, they're just a little too weak though. I mean, they do pretty well inside. Outside is where I really have the trouble. So I'm going to hang on to them because if something happens to these glasses, I leave them somewhere or something. I have, a, I have a spare pair. But I really like them. They're really cute. Little design there. They're plastic frames, which I've never had a, pl like a set of plastic frames before. Um, and it's kind of a new thing for me. Um, they are obviously really blatant, blatantly there on my face. Um, but actually a lot of the frames that I buy, like the fake frames, they're all plastic. So I figured why not? Go for it. Because I wear contacts probably still 90% of the time anyway, although I like these a lot so I might wear them more often. Um, I never wear, the, wear those out unless my eyes are bugging me for my contacts, so yeah. But um, yeah, I decided to just go with the plastic frames. But those glasses, those other ones, I liked them when I first got them. Um, but then it's you've had the same frames for 10 years. They just get old. <laughs> uh, really old. I don't like the shape anymore. I just don't like them anymore. I really liked them when I first got them, but yeah, not so much anymore. These suit me, I think, a lot better. Um, it's really funny, though, because the case that goes with them is like this brick. It's freaking huge. But it's the only case that would actually fit my glasses in them. <laughs> Um, so it's a really big difference from my old case. Not only is it a little bit longer, but it's way thicker. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but it's huge. So I feel like I have this brick. Um, and I really like the way this case looks. But, and I love it. They gave me one of these. It's Normally they give it to you in a little packet. Like in the U.S. it's in a little pack, a little cleaning kit. And they put that right in there with it. Kind of random. And so I got to carry on this baggie all day because <laughs> I met someone and went to TGI Fridays afterwards. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, my eyesight got worse. That's not really a surprise. Um, the prescription on these was uh, negative 495, 4.95, and then negative 5. So not good. I'm pretty nearsighted. I'm legally blind without my glasses, basically. Um, like, I can't drive or anything. I can't function without them. I I can't even, I can barely see the E on the stupid chart, the eye chart, so, for those in the U.S. It went up to 425, or 5, mm, 525 in both eyes. Mm. <laughs> Not good, but at least it's the same in both eyes, right? Although my contacts have been the same prescription in both eyes for a few years now. Um, has something to do with the distance, changes the way it magnifies, I don't know. I don't claim to understand these things, I'm not a doctor, we'll let the doctors do it. In this case, I'll trust them. Another thing that was kind of interesting, and actually, maybe the best part about getting new glasses, aside from the fact that they're different, they're new, they're really cute, I love them, they were so cheap. Really, really cheap. Cheaper than they would have been in the U.S., and that is strange. Because I didn't have to pay for the eye exam. It was included with the frames. The frames were, I don't know if you can see that. What am I doing? What do I, What does it matter? You don't need to see the damn bill. Um, 5,250 yen, which is about 50 bucks. Um, it's actually about equal now, 52 bucks. But yeah, about $50. So uh, for those in England, about 25 pounds. Um, well, closer to 30, but still. So that was just the frames. Um, I upgraded my lenses to get the lighter lenses because my prescription's strong, so my lenses will be really thick if I get 
normal ones so I get the thinner polycarb lenses. So that cost me an extra 4,200 yen. So these cost me less than $100 basically, or less than 10,000 yen. 9,450 yen for these new glasses. Now, it blew my mind because I didn't have to pay for the exam at all. It was included. This just completely blows my mind. Service in Japan is amazing. Um, I'm definitely going to be talking about that in my classes for the next couple days because we're supposed to be talking about like a warm-up and all this stuff. And I might use that as my warm-up because that's amazing. Service in Japan just rocks. So, yeah. Cheap. <laughs> um, so that was really exciting. And then afterwards, I met up with someone in um, Ueno and went to TGI Fridays, which was absolutely amazing. I was so excited when I went in there. I didn't realize how much I actually do kind of miss the U.S. I mean, I didn't think I'm, um, this is hard, but I don't miss it so much as like, I want to go back or anything like that. No, no, no. If I only go back to visit for the rest of my life, I probably would be happy. But it was really nice to walk into a restaurant and aside from the fact that the people sitting everywhere were Japanese, the food was American. They gave me an English menu. I mean, normally that would bother me. In this case, they just handed me an English menu. I think I was speaking English when I walked in the door, so they knew. But it was really nice. Just, I mean, I even looked at the bottles of ketchup and mustard on the counter. The mustard was imported from the U.S., which is kind of silly, but it was imported from the U.S. The labels were entirely in English. I mean, it was an American bottle of French's mustard, which I hate mustard, but still, that was it was really interesting. So it was just kind of nice. Um, company wasn't so nice. The guy that took me there, um, it was a date, but the only reason I went is because the guy was a jerk, and I went out with him before... Again, not as a date, I wanted to be friends. But he was trying to date both myself and my flatmate and thought we wouldn't find out. So I went out again with him just to kind of show him the picture of my flatmate and be like, Duh! Idiot! Did you think we wouldn't know? Jerk face. Um, but I tried to be civil <laughs> up until I said that. Because uh, that's a really shitty thing to do. And I call people out on stuff like that. <laughs> but anyway... So, happy. I had awesome food. I got a new pair of glasses, and they were way cheaper. I mean, a third of the price that I thought they were going to be. I was expecting to pay closer to $300, 30,000 yen, you know, somewhere in there, really. But they were so much cheaper, and that was the most pleasant surprise ever. I mean, I actually took 50,000 yen with me, just in case, and I'm thinking, I really hope it doesn't cost that much, but that was such a pleasant surprise. It was really nice. Um, and I went to an un a, just a random store in Ikebukuro that I'd found just by chance, actually. So, happy, happy. I hope that this isn't too strange an update for everyone. And I guess I will talk to y'all later. Cheers. <laughs>